and my face was burning off. Like I had a hard time with that for like a week or two. But in just a couple months, it starts turning orange and then dark amber. And then you're like, can I still keep using this product? everyone, it's Dr. Joyce Park, board certified dermatologist, and today we're gonna talk about one of my most highly requested video topics, which I can't believe I haven't talked about before, vitamin C. And I even wore my super bright highlighter yellow scrubs today in preparation for talking about vitamin C. It is literally one of my building blocks of a good skincare routine. It's one of my favorite skincare ingredients, and it has so much great evidence for doing a whole host of really awesome things for your skin. So today we'll go over two of my favorite types of vitamin C, L-ascorbic acid and THD ascorbate, and a couple of other types of vitamin Cs as well. And I'm also going to give you all of my favorite vitamin C product recommendations. We are just going to cover everything you've wanted to know about vitamin C. So let's get into it. Before we delve into the types of vitamin C as well as my product recommendations, I just wanted to back up for one moment and talk about why we even care about vitamin C and why do we want to use it on our skin. So vitamin C is so powerful of a skincare ingredient because it falls in a category called antioxidants. What does that really mean? When our skin is exposed to UV radiation, as well as other things like environmental pollution, stressors, things like that, a cascade is triggered that results in the production of free radicals or reactive oxidative species. So you can think of free radicals as these very, very angry, unstable molecules that are set on a path of destruction and they basically will harm and destroy cell membranes, even DNA, skin cells, etc. And the way to calm down these angry molecules, these free radicals, is to use something like an antioxidant, which will come along and donate an electron so that the free radical can be happy and contained and not want to set out on a warpath and destroy your skin. Vitamin C is an example of an antioxidant that helps to neutralize free radical damage from the sun and from environmental pollution. There are other examples of antioxidants out there as well, like vitamin E, ferulic acid, resveratrol, green tea, lots and lots of examples of other types of antioxidants, but vitamin C is one of the ingredients that has the most evidence behind it, and it's really well studied, so we know that it's a very, very powerful antioxidant. Secondly, vitamin C is important for collagen synthesis. It's a very important cofactor for collagen cross-linking. So you can think about our skin structure is composed of different types of collagen and these fibers of collagen, these like ropes of collagen, need to be linked together to make a tight matrix. Vitamin C is actually an important cofactor in that collagen cross-linking. Vitamin C also helps to inhibit MMP1, which is matrix metalloproteinase 1, an enzyme that chews up and degrades collagen. So vitamin C will stop that enzyme from breaking up your collagen. Thirdly, vitamin C can be a very powerful brightener, helping to brighten up dark spots by preventing this enzyme called tyrosinase from converting tyrosine, which is a melanin precursor, to melanin, which is what gives your skin pigment and dark spots. So vitamin C blocks that conversion so that you don't get that much pigment. So just to summarize, vitamin C is amazing because it's an antioxidant, it's helpful in collagen synthesis and preventing degradation of collagen, and it's also a really potent brightener. There are many different forms of vitamin C. We're gonna talk about two of those today, L-ascorbic acid and THD ascorbate. These two are my personal favorite forms of vitamin C. They each have pros and cons, and as we go through, I'll kind of talk about how you can really choose your vitamin C products. It can be very difficult to pick through all the ones that are out there on the market. I feel like we've been flooded with vitamin C serums and creams and whatnot. So we'll go through a little bit of things to look out for when you're actually choosing to invest in a good vitamin C product. The first form of vitamin C we're going to talk about today is the gold standard form of L-ascorbic acid. This is the gold standard because it absolutely has the most data behind it. It's really well studied and there are tons of publications that have tested L-ascorbic acid both in vitro on cells in a petri dish and in vivo looking at its actual effects when you apply it on human skin. So Dr. Sheldon Pinnell is the one who first popularized vitamin C 
in the form of L-ascorbic acid when he combined it with ferulic acid and vitamin E to make SkinCeuticals' super popular product, SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. At the time, it was even a patented combination because it was just so groundbreaking and innovative. It's off patent now, and so there are a lot of formulations that try to emulate their ingredients and their exact formulation, but hard to know if they are actually building a product the exact same way that CE Ferulic was made. There's a lot of pros of L-ascorbic acid. Like I mentioned, it is the most well-studied and has robust data and science backing up all of its claims, and it does all of those three things that I talked about, all those three benefits, very, very well. Fun fact, when L-ascorbic acid is paired with antioxidants, vitamin E, and ferulic acid, then this product's antioxidant free radical fighting abilities are actually boosted and you get slower degradation of the vitamin C. So that's why you see a lot of products combining vitamin C with vitamin E and ferulic acid. Now, one funny kind of thing about this combination is that it can smell like hot dog water. So if you wonder why some of your vitamin C products smell like hot dog water, check the ingredients and most likely it has this trio. There are a couple of cons associated with L-ascorbic acid. Even though it's amazing and great and supported by science, we know that it can be very, very unstable. So when we're trying to put L-ascorbic acid into a serum or a water-based formula, we have to lower the pH of the product to 3.5 or lower in order for the vitamin C to be stabilized. pH of 3.5 is low, it's acidic. So some people, especially if you have eczema, rosacea like me or just straight up sensitive skin, some people can find that irritating and it can sting. In fact, I tried an L-ascorbic acid based product that was 20% or maybe even higher L-ascorbic acid and my face was burning off. Like my skin barrier was destroyed and I had a hard time with that for like a week or two. Another con is that because L-ascorbic acid is hydrophilic, meaning it's water loving, it cannot penetrate our hydrophobic, which is water repelling stratum corneum very well. The stratum corneum is the outermost layer of our skin. In order to make it penetrate better, we have to lower the pH of the formulation so the L-ascorbic acid can really penetrate through and do its job. L-ascorbic acid also oxidizes very quickly with exposure to light and air. And so you may notice that you invest all this money in buying a fancy vitamin C product, but in just a couple months, it starts turning orange and then dark amber and then dark brown and you're like can i still keep using this product it is very finicky in that way and you do have to be careful about how you store it so you want to store it in a dark cool place and whenever you're opening the bottle try to cap it immediately so you're not just leaving the whole bottle out and exposing it to air letting it oxidize every time you open the bottle Okay, so we're gonna talk about some of the gold standard L-ascorbic acid-based vitamin C products. And I can't mention L-ascorbic acid without taking it back to SkinCeuticals, which is the company that originally founded and patented L-ascorbic acid in its most powerful combinations. So the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic consists of 15% vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid, 1% vitamin E, and 0.5% ferulic acid. And we know that this trio is a very powerful trio that works synergistically to combat that free radical production from UV exposure. This is not the only vitamin C product that SkinCeuticals has though. They also have Floritin CF, which consists of 2% Floritin, which is derived from apple and pear extract that is better at improving the appearance of discoloration. And that one contains 10% L-ascorbic acid and 0.5% ferulic acid as well as Silamarin CF, which has 15% L-ascorbic acid, 0.5% ferulic acid, 0.5% salicylic acid, and 0.5% Silamarin, which is a milk thistle extract that prevents oxidation of sebum. So with these three products, it can be kind of hard to think, okay, which one should I use? Typically, we say CE ferulic is wonderful for dry to combination skin. CF Floritin, which comes as a liquid and as a gel, is good for combo to oily skin. And then Silamarin CF is really excellent for oily, acne-prone skin. This trio really is a holy grail. SkinCeuticals really developed and did all of the research that pioneered the use of L-ascorbic acid in this topical form. If you ask me whether I like these products, I think the science behind them is very, very strong. I personally, because I have sensitive skin, some of the L-ascorbic acid 
formulations can be a little bit too irritating on my skin. So I opt for the lower percentage. I am a big fan of the Floritin CF, which has the L-ascorbic acid at 10%. I also prefer the Floritin CF gel, which is a little bit more lightweight and evaporates more quickly. And I recommend this a lot for my male patients because the CE Ferulic can feel a little bit greasy sometimes on my skin or a little bit thick and oily. That's just personal preference. All three are amazing products. Another awesome L-ascorbic acid-based product is the Vichy Lift Active Vitamin C Serum. This contains 15% L-ascorbic acid, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and pine polyphenols, which are just another class of antioxidants. And I like this one because it is very lightweight, but still hydrating, and it comes out as a serum, and it's really easy to layer over. It doesn't irritate my skin, so I'm a big fan of this one. Another one that I've been a big fan of for a long time is from Drunk Elephant. This is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Fresh Day Serum, and it has 15% L-ascorbic acid, vitamin E, and 0.5% ferulic acid. So it's very, very similar to the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic, and it also contains some extra goodies like pumpkin ferment for exfoliation. What I think is interesting about this one is that you actually mix it fresh before use. So it comes with this liquid serum, and it has the vitamin C powder and you kind of put it together and then you shake it around and then you can basically have a freshly mixed and freshly made vitamin C serum. And I like that because sometimes you buy a product and it just sits on your shelf for a really long time and you might forget about it or you don't know how long that product has already been sitting on the shelf. I like that you can control when you actually make the vitamin C serum so that once you mix it, you know that you should start using it and that's when the clock starts for when the vitamin C might start to oxidize. I also like that it comes in this type of pump packaging versus a dropper where you have to remove the dropper and expose the whole bottle to air every single time. So I prefer this packaging. Last but not least for the L-ascorbic acid category is the Paula's Choice C15 Booster. This is 15% L-ascorbic acid, ferulic acid, an ergothionine, which is an amino acid that is commonly found in mushrooms and black beans, and it works as an antioxidant. This one also is really well formulated, backed by science, and I find that it's a very kind of light hydrating serum. It's just been another staple of mine that I've been really enjoying and that I recommend a lot to my family, friends, and my patients. Next category of vitamin C ingredient is THD ascorbate or tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate. And you've seen me talk about this before in this summer skincare series from last year. And I've mentioned this ingredient so many times because my skin just loves THD ascorbate. THD ascorbate is lipid soluble. It's more stable than L-ascorbic acid and it can be formulated at a higher pH. So it's less irritating for those of us with sensitive skin, eczema, rosacea, etc. It is a new newer kid on the block, so it doesn't have as much research as the gold standard L-ascorbic acid, but I have found it to just be an incredible ingredient in all types of vitamin C formulations, and I like that some of the companies that make THD ascorbate-based vitamin C products do a whole ton of research, and a lot of these have been published with really amazing before-afters that you can check out on their websites. So I'm going to walk us through a couple of my favorite THD ascorbate based products. The first one is an absolute holy grail product for me and probably one of my top three products of all time that I use every single day. This is the Skin Better Science Alto Advanced Defense and Repair Serum. So this has THD ascorbate, vitamin E, but also 17 other antioxidants. I really think of this as more than just a vitamin C because it really takes kind of a holistic approach to treating your skin. In addition to vitamin C and E, it also has this patented antioxidant called allyl PQQ, which helps your body fight free radical production as well as reactive oxidative species from the sun. It also has plankton extract, which contains an enzyme that helps to repair existing existing DNA damage, ergothionine, which is that amino acid I talked about earlier that's an antioxidant. It has basabolol for calming, soothing effects, niacinamide, which is another antioxidant, as well as a brightener. And don't forget to check out my niacinamide video over here. Also has licorice extract, which we know is a brightener for dark spots. And it has trifluoroacetyl tripeptide 2, which is a peptide that helps to improve the appearance of skin elasticity and firmness. So it really is like a vitamin C plus product. This definitely comes with a heftier price tag, but in my mind, it contains so many benefits that this could replace basically any antioxidant 
product that you would need to buy. And I like that it comes out as a very hydrating serum. I find that I don't even need to use moisturizer after I use this product because this gives me enough hydration for the daytime. So this is definitely one of my favorite products of all time. Another THC based vitamin C that's really awesome is the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum. This is 20% vitamin C in the form of THD ascorbate, 3% vitamin E and 2% ferulic acid. And this one I also really like because it comes out like a hydrating serum. Again, I can just use this in place of a moisturizer and it offers absolutely zero irritation. Same with the Skin Better one. And again, this is why I love THD ascorbate as opposed to L ascorbic acid because my sensitive skin just loves this stuff and I can use it every day and not have any issues. But you see how silky and lightweight this is? This is perfect for layering and it's just a really cosmetically elegant formula that causes zero irritation or stinging. And a lot of my patients do have issues with stinging from L-ascorbic acid, so then I highly recommend them check out THD ascorbate-based vitamin C products. The third THD ascorbate-based product for y'all today is a drugstore brand called Vanny Cream. I've spoken about Vanny Cream many times before because it's really great for those of us with sensitive skin. And this vitamin C product is a no fuss, no frills, bare bones vitamin C serum that just basically contains THD ascorbate and a ton of different types of ceramides. Now ceramides you can think of as the glue that holds your skin cells, the bricks together. So it helps your skin perform its main function of being a tight, impermeable, barrier. So it helps with skin barrier function, but it also helps with your skin holding onto and retaining water by making sure that you don't get that trans epidermal water loss. So the Vanny Cream one is a great option for those of you who want an affordable bare bones THD ascorbate based vitamin C that gets the job done without breaking the bank. One question I get a lot is about vitamin C dupes. A lot of people ask me, Dr. Joyce, these vitamin C products are so pricey. Can't I just buy vitamin C products that use the same ingredients as these holy grail products and just save a bunch of money. So my response to that is, how do you know that these ingredients, even though they're the same ingredients as more expensive products, how do you know they were put together in a way that they're going to be just as effective as the holy grail products? So the analogy I like to make here is just because I can get all the ingredients to make a cake, the flour, the eggs, the sugar, doesn't mean I know how to combine all these ingredients together and in the right proportions and in the right steps in order to make a cake as good as a world-renowned baker. I simply cannot. So similarly, just because you take all the ingredients of these Holy Grail vitamin C products, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily putting them together at the right pH, the right order, the right proportions, the right percentages. It doesn't mean that it's going to be equal to the Holy Grail product, if that makes sense. So I would say if you want to invest in anything in skincare, vitamin C would be one category of skincare to really truly spend your money on. This is an area where the formulation matters a lot because we know that vitamin C can be very unstable. And then THD ascorbate as an ingredient, as a raw ingredient, is expensive to purchase. I know this because I've looked into purchasing it in its raw form. All this is to say, do not be fooled by dupes claiming to do the exact same things that the holy grail vitamin c products do because you simply do not know if they are making it the correct way and also be very wary of any vitamin c products that do not have clinical studies backing them up because you really don't have any idea of how well this product is going to perform and if it actually does all the things that the company claims it to do unless you can see those clinical studies Okay, I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. Okay, this was a long video, I think, but there was just a lot to cover. And vitamin C is something that I'm really excited and like passionate about because I think it can really make a big difference for your skin. There's a lot of hand wavy ingredients out there in skincare and some hand wavy gray area products as well. But vitamin C is an ingredient that is truly backed by science. We have great evidence for in vitro and in vivo studies. And I think it's a wonderful addition to any skincare routine. I hope you found this helpful. Please leave any questions below. I'm gonna link all of the products I talked about in a link down in the caption. And don't forget to check out some of my related videos. I do ingredient deep dives. I also talk a lot about summer skincare. So I'll link to some of those videos below as well. And as usual, please let me know if you have any ideas for future topics. Until next time.